Hello and welcome back to the Bosmer. We are continuing to convert all of our lands to our culture and religion, and I noticed something down the south here that we should probably be paying attention to. We have these three provinces, which are actually um, all part of a different faith, because we picked them all up at the same time. They're part of the Two Moons faith. And this one doesn't have the resistance to conversion, which uh, the Imperial Cult and the Vine Dusk ones do. So, we should probably focus on them rather than focusing on the one that we're currently on. Uh, I'm going to leave this guy currently doing his job because he's about 45% through it, but once he finishes this one, we'll convert these three, and then that should get us more temples, which I think gives us a benefit towards... Now I'm like, where, where is it? It's a benefit towards our... I'm in the Arenthi culture find the right hover thing eventually. That will give us a benefit towards our fervor equilibrium because that should make it go up higher because we'll have more church holdings. That's my logic anyway. We'll see. Um, before we get into this episode though fully and let time move on, I just want to do a very brief plug for a series which came out half an hour before this episode came out. Uh, the Game of Thrones mod is finally out and there is a new Crusader Kings 3 series for that which is on the channel. Go check it out if you're interested. Right, back to this one so um what are we gonna do i don't think there's anything we need to rush and do here i'm just looking there so we've got zealous proselytizer we could potentially switch from this although i think we want to do religious icon first yeah we want to do religious icon and then pivot to some more magic so we get to master restoration and start curing disease it has been pointed out that tickle uh brush uh, bridge has now effectively spread like all over the place because it's gone into well it would have gone to all our lovers although apparently they're not actually listed i thought we had like a whole bunch of them anyway uh, it would have gone to all their lovers if we had any that are still here maybe they all died hmm anyway uh, so that they'll be all over the place but effectively i think if we cure ourselves then we cure our wife we can start just basically curing uh, everybody one by one and eventually we'll eradicate it that's the plan anyway um but yeah, I think that we're probably ready to unpause. I don't think there's anything drastic we need to do. Have we finished all of our building? Yeah, when this thing finishes, we'll do more building. That's the plan. Uh, so the Barksmer is going to the council meeting. Uh, well, she'll join me. And did a good job. Wonderful. That's what we like to see. Lots and lots of money coming in. We have a new child. This child is our great... Uh, great granddaughter so this is going from this one to grandson okay whisperer's line continues okay we have uh, consecrated blood now though uh, that's because we did something i think that's fine is it because we did um yeah yeah we did something i think anyway i think that was because of something we did now i'm starting to question myself i don't know my mind is all over the place today and has rapidly been focused by this thing. Okay, so we're being attacked by Karhara Zeria of Orchaj, who is also bringing in Korint into this war. So that's 20,000 troops and 27,000 troops, but they've declared for the Sepat of Verkarth, which is this one right here. All right, well, let's rally our troops. So we're now fighting effectively elsewhere, but not elsewhere, because we're fighting their vassals. Do we still have a truce with elsewhere? They have a truce with us. It does feel a little bit off, right? Now, this is a base Crusader Kings problem. It feels a little bit off that the liege can have a truce with us, yet the uh, vassals of the liege can attack us. That seems a little off to me, but yeah. As it doesn't really matter in base Crusader Kings because usually the vassals don't have the power to do this. It just so happens that in this mod, they tend to actually be strong enough to do things. Um, and call in our house member who's in charge of Spearwood. I don't think we need to. I think we'll be fine. Right. Raise up all our troops. Oh, you know what we do need to do, though? Call our Holy Order. Talking of Holy Orders, I know. Brains jumping all over the place today. Um, people were saying that Anvil was taking a lot of uh, Hammerfell. And I was looking at it. And they were suggesting that they might have been taking all the Vine Dusk land. So, um, actually, what's really interesting is Anvil is specifically not taking the Vine Dusk land. Right? They're taking the land of all the people who haven't converted, which I think is quite interesting. I'm wondering whether the Vine Dusk buffs um, are actually helping them up here, because 
they get a bonus to prowess and they get a faith hostility advantage, they get more commanders. I'm wondering whether, because they're slightly better at combat, whether that's the reason they're not getting picked off by Anvil quite as easily. Although, are they in a war right now? No. Um, but yeah, that would be interesting if that's the reason why. And like all the other ones are struggling because they don't tend to have those kind of buffs up there. Don't know. Anyway, it's just a thought. Uh, let's let all of our troops get together here. We'll head to Cathay. Uh, and then ideally we want to find where the enemy troops are coming from and beat them up. Um, I would expect them to appear here, but who knows? Who knows? We still have our organizer? We do. Yeah, let's leave it on our organizer. Where are your troops? Um, I, you look like you're, yeah, let's find somebody. You look like you're at war, right? So if I did a go to character, there we go, it still works. So they, I think they're here. Yeah, I think that they are here, which is in the fog of war for us. I think if I do this, we'll see them. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. All right, let's go up here. Oh, there they are. See? The old tricks still work. So we can head up here and siege this, and then we probably want to just uh, backtrack on ourselves here. That's fine. We've taken that. It gives us a little bit more vision. I think we want to fight this army. Yeah, I'm going to wait for this army to commit, and then we can fight them. Actually, we can just fight them like this, right? Yeah, because they'll be committed by the time we get to this province. Perfect. So at 17,000, we're going to pick off pretty much isolated. These guys are going to start moving towards us. Which is great to see because they'll arrive just as we finish off the previous army and then we can beat them up. Nice. Very nice. Okay, how much do we get for a white piece? Uh, we get nothing. We get 2,000 for a win. 2,000 for a win is quite nice. And we get it from Battle War scores. So we should think about that. This is my daughter's... Um, yeah, daughter's daughter. So she's intelligent and acute. Wonderful. Head up north. This is all fine. Yep. Aha! Continuing to destroy armies. Wonderful to see. They're getting absolutely destroyed. Want to head down here before they can take it because this will um, lower control and we don't want that. Uh, this is our great grandson. So I'm guessing this is a whisperer line thing. No, this is actually. Your Chelas's um, son's child. Or wait, nor yes, I think that's right. Uh, clear out these. What did we pick up? A new sword. We need to give away some of these at some point, but that's okay. Agath has summoned the Holy Order. Okay, so you're defending against Anvil. So this is... Well, it's literally what we're looking at. It's um, Agath versus Anvil. Even enough. And this is why I'm keeping the Holy Order, right? The Holy Order for Vine Dusk needs to be around to give them a chance at winning these battles. And although it doesn't directly benefit us, I still kind of like the uh, conceptually us uh, supporting that. Hey, Walker our Dog gives us a health boost. Nice. Right, defeated more. We have a lot of prisoners now. Um, let's ransom off any we can ransom, uh, like ransom off for money. Not that we need the money, but generally if you can ransom them off for money, it probably means that we're not going to be able to uh, convert them. It's not very easily. Right, then we can just work through this list here. Go convert. Um, we could recruit as well, I suppose. That'd be fine. Recruit. You? You just don't have any money. Um, no, just give me a hook and I'll let you go. You? Demand conversion. You don't want to be recruited though, but that's okay. You will convert you. And then you convert. Nice. That went pretty well. Right, uh, head up this way. Wonderful. It looks like they're going to run into us up here. Uh, we have 65%, which is mostly, to, oh, well, mostly the battles, but we now have started getting taking war score, which is good. Right. How many troops are we ahead of them now? About 30,000. We could disband some of our troops, I suppose, if we wanted to save some money. Uh, I don't think we need to, but we could. Oh, it's been back round. I think we got them. I think they're trapped. They're heading down to the easy-to-siege bit. 
There we go. We got him. Enemy banner. Uh, I'm going to burn that. Because I really don't want more artifacts. Head up north. We continue to get taking war score while all this is happening. They're de-sieging here, but they should break their siege as we appear, which is exactly what they've done. Renown has gone up. We caught them in a battle, which now means they're all, you know, drawn to us, which means we'll destroy them. Uh, let's go to the brothel. That's fine. It says it has inherent risks, but it's not like we're going to catch a double tickle bridge. You promoted culture. Wonderful. Next culture. I'd like to do it in this one. We'll settle our own people there. Great to see. Back over this way. We have one again. More enemy combatants. Uh, worth 100 gold. Convert. You will not convert. What are your claims? Your claims are on the Confederacy of Elsewhere. No, honestly, keep your claims. Yeah, I'll just take the hook and let you go. You, Girin. Um, convert, recruit. Yeah, you can hang around with us. You, convert, recruit. Interesting. A two moons, um, Bosmer. Huh. Discordant. Cannot properly read the flow of Magicka. Oh, we haven't seen that one too often. Okay. Oh, we have a 100% war score. Well, once these prisoners get sorted, then I'll end the war. Nice. Prisoners are sorted. Clear that out. Enforce our demands. So we get another 1,000 goldish. Disband our troops. That went pretty well. Yeah, it was a fairly solid war for us. It's really quite easy doing the defending wars against an army that's even slightly weaker than us, because we're so good at fighting. Like, our troops are effectively worth more than they are. And defending, all we have to do is win battles, which is by far the thing that we're best at. Sieging, we're absolutely terrible at. Battle winning, we're great at. Um, right, let's do some uh, building. So I'm just going to check that we've done all the top level buildings here. If we haven't, then we'll do them. And then we'll work on anything else afterwards. So you, uh, yeah, again, top level building. Top level building. Another one. Uh, another one. And another one. What's the upgrade of this, actually? Uh, just levies, basically. Levies and then some troops are better. Okay, we'll stick with that. That's fine. Now we'll do secondary holdings. Temples still upgrading. 14 days left. I'll just wait for that one. Holy Order has been dismissed. That makes sense. The Scandal? Um, oh no. People are not the children of people who they think they're the children of? Shocking. Shocking. Uh, we would never. Yeah, we would never do anything like that. Uh, right. Let's do that. This one. Let's just upgrade some of these. So that's Moonmont. Uh, we can upgrade here. Let's get a building construction time. We can upgrade this again. Gets us much more holding taxes, actually. It's a fairly significant chunk of holding taxes now that I look at it. Like, that is not an insignificant amount of holding taxes we're getting from that one. Okay, so that's Willow Cave. Here, we can upgrade you. Um, we, we, yeah, all of those are uh, kind of held or leased. This one, we can continue upgrading. So that's that one. Thormar, I should really just use the symbol, because the symbol actually matches rather than the name. Uh, but that's okay. What's the upgrade get us? More control growth. Okay. And then this one, I think we've already, yeah, we've already done, because it's actually in one of the other ones. Perfect. Right. Uh, leave them all building. Obviously, we still have all of our vassal land that we could upgrade, but that's kind of like a secondary goal. Magnificent crown. Yeah, we'll repair that, I think. Yeah, hot take. I think the crown's pretty good, given it's our only one. This is also pretty good. We don't have the money. Okay, I'll repair that now. Happy to let the other artifact go, but, you know, let's repair the ones that are actually good. Learning lifestyle one. Okay, so we want religious icon. The time it takes to convert a county is no longer increased if that faith has a higher fervor than yours, which is great. Um, there's two months left. I don't think that's going to affect this at all, right? Yeah, because we actually have higher fervor than them by a tiny amount. But hey, cool. Uh, now we can switch back over to this. Um, 
we could get, go for the one stewardship, then we're almost able to hold an extra holding, but I don't think that matters too much to us right now. Martial prowess, diplomacy learning. I think we take diplomacy learning, honestly. Yeah, we go with that. That's fine. Then we just carry on with our day. It's all okay. Organized service is there. Um, My dog is meeting with somebody. Or meeting with another dog. That's okay. You know, I was just having a thought there with our lifestyle. If we have a look down here in this academy thing, it's actually giving us faster lifestyle experience. That might be why the academies exist. It's less that they're good, right? Like, they're not good for, like, individual holding bonuses that you would normally want, like gold and troops, basically. Right, those are the two main things you want from a holding. What they're really good at is actually advancing the lifestyle traits of your individual rulers. Imagine if we had... um. We have 10 ho uh, holdings right now. We could, in theory, have 10 holdings on 10 different provinces here, or counties, or whatever we're going to call them, right? If we had an academy in each one, at level 4, that would be giving us 5% each for um, this lifestyle experience. We'd end up actually getting 50% increased lifestyle experience, which I think would directly counter our lifespan. Yeah, so that would make it so we're gaining lifestyle experience at the normal speed despite having the increased lifespan that would be incredible and it would also be incredible if you were um playing as one of these other ones like say we were playing as the heartlands here they have no negative currently to a lifestyle experience but they could be going 50 percent faster that would allow them to complete a lot more of these trees than you normally would in a lifetime and advance just a lot further than you would normally expect i don't know there's definitely some benefit to that yeah, you get a lot of good benefits in those ones, and maybe they could even make up for the fact that it's not giving you any additional um, troops. Like, there's probably one of these that gives you additional troops somewhere. Um, yeah, somewhere in here, there's no no doubt something. Like, Household Guard probably makes up for it somewhere. Night Effectiveness probably makes up for it. And then you could get your money by going into, like, Golden Obligations, Golden Touch, all that sort of stuff, and that would probably make up the money that you're missing. I don't know. It's interesting, though. Hey, you finished converting the faith. Wonderful to see. We can now set you down here to convert these ones. These will only take two years. Wow. That's really quick. Yeah, do it. And then that should increase our number of church holdings, which will then increase uh, our fervor equilibrium, which will then increase our fervor, which will then allow us to convert everything else quicker. Cool. We have... Somebody who's only vaguely related to us. This is our great-great-granddaughter. Okay. Uh, you've leased out some land to the Vine Dusk Warriors. That doesn't really bother me one way or the other. How's your war going? You're losing. It's not ideal. Can I help you out? No. Alright, well, good luck. You're gonna need it. It's not really anything we can do. It's a holy war. Even if we kill the anvil's leader, all it does is it, um, yeah, all all it does is move the war down to the next person. You've discovered discovered that someone in my close family is having an extramarital affair. Let's not worry about that because it's probably us. That's okay. Although, let me just see here. If I kill anvil, their kingdom splits, right? Well, at least one of them does. Hugh's Bane splits off, which is where is this one? Okay, so that would weaken them. You know, I think we are, like, you know, we're, we're a casual murderer. We might as well just do that, right? You know, it, it hurts our uh, neighbor. It helps one of the causes that we have an interest in. I don't see a reason not to. Nobody else is really into it, but, you know. No reason not to just, like... Throw it out there, see what happens. Uh, I think we're already listed as a murderer, aren't we? Yeah, so who cares? Who cares if somebody finds out? You can't be double murderer. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, just chill. Right, scheme at court. We're not going to accuse this person. Uh, do I want to repair that? Nope. So I have two things I don't really want to repair here. That's fine. Now we chill. Let all these finish. This is probably going to push us above uh, 100 a month. Oh. She's dead. She's died of old age. Well, that'll do it. 
Uh, okay, so... Uh, Marinette approaches me with a grave face and before I can ask her anything tells me that she woke up this morning to find out she has been robbed as her servants were counted by some naga who stole precious heart hides from her. Marin uh, Marineth asks for my help and awaits for my response. Um, sure, we'll help. Why not? Okay, anyway, as I was saying, it's going to put us above 100 probably, so this is going to be very, very nice in terms of income coming in soon. So Anvil broke up, huh? Now it's 25 versus 11. If I was to attack you again and then kill you, you've got two kingdoms. Your land would split again. Wait, I have a hook on you? I could convert your faith to the Moondusk faith? You Wait, you don't even need... Wait a second. Yeah, you don't even need the hook? I can just do that? Wait, you're a member of House Vindusk? How did you he end up in charge of Anvil? Well, no. Now, now I want now anvils. Like you know, now they're truly good. Yeah, you convert as well. No, this is great. Okay, uh, my, the entourage returned with some surprising news. The Naga responsible were actually under direct orders of the respected Aileen, who was very offended by Marineth. After speaking to the warriors that the entourage brought to me in, to confirm the story that Marineth was stealing hides from the camps, heard and pr proved it to be true. They were taking back what was rightfully theirs. Uh, I can do a foreign insult. Okay. Or I can say they clearly belong to them. Uh, we'll, we'll do the foreign insult. Gives us dread. Um, so they're, they're, they've converted as of they. Alright, so you're now Moondusk. You're now Moondusk. Alright, so... Um, yeah, now I don't care that they're attacking you. Because our faith is everywhere. Can I ask other ones to convert? I think it's just because they're a member of our family. Yeah. Wow. But also, the fact that they've converted now means that there's a whole bunch of more people who are now Moondusk that we can marry into. We've just increased the pool of people we can marry into significantly, which is very nice. Uh, let me just check something. Now that I know I can convert other people of my dynasty, even if they're not within my lands. There are two houses? Oh. Four living members? Wait, you still exist? The blue people. Oh, where are you? You're currently just wandering somewhere. You want to like come to my court? No, you're you're not interested in going into my court at all. You're in a matrilineal marriage. Oh, you want to come to my court? Yeah, thought you might. Right, uh, let's do that. Anyway, um, what I wanted to do is look at living members, sort by rank. Just go through them and see if we've got anybody. Like this person? Yeah, like this person I can convert. They're in Spearwood, but I can still convert them. I did not know you could do that. Well, I mean, why not, right? This seems pretty good to me. Just close that houses menu if I can. Yeah, and let's just go down the list. You're apparently also a member of my family. Convert. That's fine. Yeah, so we can just do this. This is great. Uh, you as well? Yeah, convert. Just go around asking everybody to convert. And then we get down to people who aren't landed, so I'll leave them alone. But still, it's not bad. Yep, so you've converted. You've converted and you've converted. So that should start to get a lot more courts uh, to be Moondusk, which means we're going to get a lot more people who are Moondusk overall. Wonderful. You got a new inspiration. You're merely decent. You would like to weave a tapestry. Okay. Um, sure. Why not? I'll, I'll, I'll pay you some money to do that. Right. Um, next thing. Uh, you know what we could do? We could have a look at our artifacts. There's something that we haven't done in a while. Just get rid of some of these ones that potentially aren't that good. Like, this one's not really that good. Um, we could potentially... You know what? I'm going to give it as a gift. I would like to sin send you a magnificent crown. There you go. Also, it gives monthly renown. So if he wears it, that actually increases the renown. I think that that should, in theory, increase the renown he's paying into this. Which would be great. Yeah. So let's do that. Send him a little crown. Nice. Okay. So, first one sorted. Next one. 
Got some regalia. N none of this is really that useful. I'm quite happy with this one. Although we probably don't need the short reign. We could switch over, actually. And get 2% vassal tax. <sighs> really doesn't matter. I don't really want the fertility from that one. Could switch over and get renown. Which might actually end up being the best option. Um... You know, maybe it is the best option. Although it's only 0 0.06 per month. You know what? Again, Anvil. Hey, I can't help but notice you're a ruler now. Why don't you take this thing that gives Renown, given Renown will go into our family? His opinion of me went down. I love that. The reason it went down is because the received artifact thing is unique as a bonus. So we gave him a lower bonus. Therefore, it lowered the amount he liked us. Which is very funny. I think. Because that makes no sense. We gave him two gifts and he likes us less. Um, I might just give this one away as well. Give this one to one of our vassals, maybe. Did we land one of our children? We did. Yeah, why don't I give you... This thing that, um... Also, like, yeah, sure, you're allowed to do whatever you like. Um, why don't I give you... This artifact that makes you earn slightly more money. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, there you go. You can have this one. He loves us for it. That's great. He'll earn more money, which then means he'll pay me more taxes. M nice. Okay, so that's fine. It's fine. This is how I like it looking, right? One artifact in each category. We have way too many swords. So the ones that are terrible, we're just going to give away to family members. So I don't know. Have we not got some grandchildren? Yeah, let's give our granddaughter some uh, swords. Why not? So there, there's an axe sword for you. And there is a sword sword for you. Nice. Right, so that clears them off the list. So here, uh, this does nothing for us. What's the requirement? Is Has the Sithis Doctrine... Well, I mean, there's nothing we can really do about that. I guess we could give it away at some point, but we'll keep it for right now. This one, I would love to turn... I would love to reforge. Does reforge that to a pedestal item? So what does it give right now? One night, eight prowess, 40 raid speed. This gives us 40% dread gain a night. Powerful vassal opinion, courtier and guest opinion. We lose the night bonus, but... In, oh no, we don't lose the night bonus. I'm going crazy. We lose the prowess bonus and the raid speed, but we gain some good stuff. Yeah, let's reforge that. Only costs three to reforge, which is quite nice. Must be due to the durability of it, I'm guessing. Then we could replace this goblet. We have a goblet that's not even out right now, but we'll replace it with this mace. Wonderful. So we're getting more benefits from that. We have few jacks puri. That's because we apparently don't have enough here. But I suspect we do have enough. They're just, yeah, they're not in yet. It will be, it'll fix itself in a second. Cool. So that's a, that's another big benefit for us. Right, and then in here. I can get rid of some of these memories that I don't use. Yeah, so if we got any... I guess what I could do is I could just look at vassals and see if we've got any that don't like us, like Ontus. Here you go. I'm going to grant you uh, this memory. Sure. That'll make Ontis like us better. That seems good. What else are we not using? So we're not using any of the ones that say a memory of. Okay, so a memory of Pressed Orchid and the brooch that isn't purple. Okay. So again, just go down our vassal list. You don't like me at 100. That's, wait, are you Ontus? No, you're Derek. You just look very similar. Okay. So we're going to grant you uh, this brooch. Sure. You don't like me. Let, go, go back to this one. Uh, you don't like me. So I'm going to grant you uh, this. Cool. You don't like me. So I'm going to grant you Word of Main. Got zero opinion. You know what? I could probably grant you something else as well then. But the guide to hunting. There we go. Actually got increased opinion. How are we looking in terms of getting rid of our items? We need to get rid of the memory of Zithri. 
and of Va Kahara's Tamari's Brooch. Okay. So, uh, down this list. Again, find somebody who doesn't like us at 100, and then just gift him something. Like the memory of, Z of Zithari. Get rid of that. Got five opinion for that. You don't like me at 100. I'm going to grant you the brooch. Nice. So it's cleared out our personal ones. We just have what we need. Before I do any more handing out, how far away are we on uh, the core artifacts being done? So Vine Dusk... Oh, we're not, we don't have the Dynasty banner up. What do we have? We have this one. Probably put the Dynasty banner up instead of that one. Yeah, let's put the Dynasty banner up there. Uh, in theory, we should have more spaces for banners, but I guess we don't. Yeah, what else goes on this slot? This, this is... Apparently Queen Fainir's tapestry is up somewhere. Uh, the Coral War banner would actually be pretty nice. Where, where's the, oh, it's over here. Um, yeah, I guess I would replace this one with... Uh, this one, for right now. That gives us an extra, extra night. Okay. We have a few things that could be got rid of here. We'll, we'll look at these later. We have, we have too many to look at right now. That's okay. Right, so they're all away. People like us better now. And we should now fill up on knights, so we have even more knights now. Also realizing that we should probably look at a screen we never look at at some point, which is our courtier screen. And then we can have a look at our guests and just have a look and see if anyone's actually good at anything. Uh... Oh, right, and it does tell you if they've got, like, a good stat. Like, hey, you got 23 prowess. Maybe I'll just recruit you. Yeah. It seems sensible. We should, we should just do this, like, every now and then. Go in here and just go, ooh, well, I'll have you. Um, You're also a guest. Yeah, you know what? I'll recruit you, too. Oh, give me stress. Well, that's fine. Right. Now I'm going to convert you. Cool. We have some people who are thinking about leaving, but it's still worth going in there and just doing a little bit of recruiting while we can. Cool. Chill. Nothing we need to do. Hold court. Let's hold court. Open carry. My lord, murder is wanted in the city streets throughout the kingdom of Varenthia. Be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within city limits. So we can say, do that. We gain control growth. And I'd gain stress, though. Let us uh, keep our swords lest our realm weaken, or we shall solve the safety debate with violence. Uh, so that will 100% do that. I think we want a weapon ban. Child of the court. Uh, I'm going to let this person, my great granddaughter, be educated by some random person. My wife. Okay. It's a good random person. Um, so, Linnell, uh, Ivy Hollow. Uh, has come from Queen Ra uh, Ralad Ralurd Till, the Dragon Slayer of Woodharth. You're a Dragon Slayer? Okay. It's come to my attention of the least that you're harboring a particular um, an individual of particular interest. Gullion has legitimate claim to the ward of Serpent's Grotto. Queen Ralurd Hill requests and demands the return of this errant subject of hers. I can disguise somebody else. My daughter. Why would I do that? She'll be furious when she finds out. Well, well look, like, why would we send our daughter? I can just say no. Okay, cool. Now, you say she has legitimate claim on some on one of your titles? I could just press her claim on the Kingdom of Woodhearth. Like, just convert her and then press her claim. And then that moves our religion over there as well. Sure, why don't I just convert you? Wonderful. I'm deeply upset by your intransigence by not acquiescing to my reasonable request as conveyed by my envoy. Returning Gullion to me was hardly an irrational demand, yet you proved yourself to be more reckless and spiteful than wise. Wow. Okay, well, um, that was quite a rude thing. You're being attacked by Malbal Tor in the Woodhearth de Jure War for the Kingdom of... Uh, in the Woodhearth de Jure War for the Kingdom of Woodhearth. So you're attacking Malabaltor for Woodhearth, which is this land. 
Okay. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to attack you for this person's claims. They will not become my vassal. They become independent because they'd be the same rank as me. But they would be my religion, which spreads our religion even further. You know what? Sure. Do it. I shall declare a war. We can call in a ton of house members to this one. Oh, we can call in Anvil now because they're our house member. Wow. So Anvil are now effectively like a pseudo ally of ours. Our religion is spread very, very, very quickly. <laughs> All across the lands. This is great to see. Uh, talk of religion being spread. You're still doing it. Okay. Uh, why don't you increase control in that one as well while we're here? Um, right, so this is all fine. Yeah. Anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Next time we go to War of Woodhearth in order to put this random person in charge, which will mean that our religion is then on Woodhearth, which then increases the pool of people that we can marry, which increases alliances we can get, and generally just makes things a lot better. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.